Okay there, time for lesson 5.3, adjusting estimated divisors. All right, so let's go through this together. Your I can statement for this lesson, I can recognize and adjust the divisor if it is too small or too big. So we're gonna work through a couple problems together. So we're gonna look at this too large, too small, or just right. Now, who does that sound like? Kinda reminds me of this girl. This, this part orange is too hot. hot. This part is, is too cold. cold. This part is just right. Ah, uh, good old Goldilocks. Well, we're kind of looking for that Goldilocks divisor in this case, so we want to make sure or as we go through this that we're looking for that just right number to multiply against our divisor. So let's take a look at the first one here. Okay, the so step one is to round the divisor. So I've got 85 here. Okay, so if I round it, I'm going to make it 90. If I look at 90, how many times does a 9 go into 51? Okay, I come up with 5. Okay, because 9 times 5 is 450. 9 times 6, 54. Too big. Okay, then I go to multiplying with the original number. And when I do 5 times 85, I get 425. I subtract, I get 93. Okay, and then I want to go back and I want to start thinking about, wait a second, I'm doing this the shortcut method. I need to go to the division poster. And I'm going to specifically focus in on the check step from this poster. Okay. So the check tells me I need to check my divisor versus what my remainder is after subtracting. Now, when I do this, I notice immediately, okay, that this is not right. And how do I know that it's not right? Well, the first thing I notice here is that my divisor is smaller than my remainder or my leftover down here, which is wrong, which tells me Okay, I didn't take enough out. So what do I need to do? Well, I need to adjust my divisor or increase the number that I have by one. I had chose five, that wasn't enough. I didn't need to take out one more. So that's gonna be six, okay? So now I multiply six times my divisor, I get 510. Subtract eight, bring down the five, I can get 185 out of there and now I'm done, all right? What about the other methods? Well, let's take a look at this from the expanded notation. Okay, step one, round the divisor. Okay, so now I'm going to take out, instead of five, I'm going to take out 50. I've got to subtract 4,250, I get 935. Okay, now do I need to change the estimated number when I use expanded notation? No, I really don't. Okay, because I can just keep building that quotient up as I go, and I know we practice this in class, and add all the numbers together at the end. So I recognize I can take out 10 more, so that's going to be 850. That leaves me with 85. I'm going to take out one more. There's my 85. I subtract, and now get the same answer, 61. What about the place value sections method? Exact same thing. Okay, I can start here. I'm going to take out my 90 times 50. I'm going to go back and multiply using my original numbers. I get 4250, 935. I need to do another box. Bring it up there. 10 more. 850, bring it up there, one more. I'm gonna add those together and I get 61. So now let's take a look at what type of divisor is really most likely to give you an estimate that's wrong. Okay, when am I gonna know that I might get the wrong estimate? Well, we're gonna look at the first step of these problems here. Okay, think of what kind of divisor is most likely to lead to an estimated number that's wrong and then test your idea by doing the first step of the problem below. We don't have to solve the whole problem, just the first step, we're gonna check our divisor, okay? so. If I look at the first problem, I'm going to take my 41 and I'm going to round it to 40, okay? That should be below. I don't know why it is, and, but because I rounded down. So sorry about that, but I'm not changing it now. So I do 6 times the original number gives me 246. Nothing wrong with that. Let's take a look at the next one. This time, I've got 30. Again, sorry, it's above. should be below. But I'm going to round that down. Now, when I look at 30s into, one, into 15 or 150, I know there's going to be five of them. But when I go to multiply, I get 170, okay? That's a problem. If it's too big, I'm going to have to go back and adjust that divisor down, or adjust that number that I'm multiplying my divisor down by one, okay? So that first number, my quotient's got to be lower. So, let's take a look at the next one here, okay? So I round up to 30. Hey, that one's in the right spot, times three. I'm going to do my original number, I get 87. No issues with that whatsoever. Let's look at the last one here, 16. Oh, round it up to 20. Multiply that out seven times. I get 112. And when I do that, if I were to subtract this, 
this is going to be too small because there's definitely more 16s inside of there. Okay, so what kind of divisor is going to lead to an estimated problem? If I think back to the first page, the first one that was wrong, that ended in 5. The other ones that have given me problems are 4 and 6. Okay, so divisors with a 4, 5, or 6 in the ones place, those are the ones that are going to give me the most trouble. Okay, I can subtract one digit from the quotient if I overestimate, because that's what they're asking me how to adjust, and if I have to add one if I underestimate. Okay, just like we've been practicing in class. All right, so here is your practice problem, just one today, okay? I want you to like you to solve that in your math notebook, and hooray, there's no guiding question for this lesson, and we'll see you back in class.